Hello, I am Zara Al-Harazi, and I am standing on what I consider to be the most uniquely Canadian icon, the Wal Walrus Stage, at the National Music Centre, in partnership with a well-respected Canadian um, educational institution, the University of Calgary. For an immigrant to this country, this is a very proud moment, so thank you. I was a refugee before I was an immigrant, a refugee when we left Uganda to escape Idi Amin's bloody war, and an immigrant when we left Yemen to come to Canada to escape the Yemen civil war. When we came here, I didn't have big dreams or ambitions um, for myself. We came here to create a better life for our kids, and we wanted to give them a shot at the bright, shining future that this country has to offer, the uniquely welcoming, diverse Canadian dream. So when Walrus called to invite me to give this speech, and they said the question that they wanted me to answer was, what do the next generation of Canadian leaders need in order to succeed? After I stopped jumping for joy, I realized what a hard question that was. It was because it's one that keeps me up at night. My children are young adults, and they're just embarking on their careers and the rest of their adult lives. And even though they are amazing kids, I worry. I am a mother. Worse than that, I am an immigrant mother. I hound them. I tell them what to do. I usually give them very unwanted advice. Um, one of them, my baby girl, Hanadi, is in the audience, and I can see her nod her head right now. <laughs> Um, don't get me wrong, I don't mean immigrant mothers care more, it just means that we are more interfering and less understanding of personal space. Um, so yes, it is a question that keeps me up at night. <laughs> and this is um, the best answer that I can come up with. Think like an immigrant. Let me explain that. The world continues to shrink and technology continues its march to replace us. Globalization and automation are here to stay. Complexity is the daily norm and change is the only constant. Jobs are harder to find and to keep. Competition is fierce and grand challenges are everywhere. In order to be prepared for this new world order, our young need leaders need to be agile and flexible and understanding and tolerant. Gone are the days when your education and your talent is enough. You, you simply need more. Our young generation has to hustle. They need to feel hunger and desire to be able to adapt and change and to forget about everything that they believed about themselves. So here are some lessons for our leaders of tomorrow, immigrant lessons for our leaders of tomorrow. Number one, work harder than you've ever worked before. The majority of immigrants come from third world countries. They have little or no money. They barely speak English. The stakes are really high. Immigrants don't come to a new country to do what they love. They come here to live. Instead of trying to figure out how we can work fewer hours, we always try to figure out how we can work more. We don't tell our children to follow their dreams. We tell them to be an engineer or a doctor or an accountant. <laughs> yes, those really are the choices compared, according to most immigrant mothers. And I believed that until my brilliant daughter, Hanadi, dedicated her life to helping others. And just, I have to say, this just got accepted last week to the London School of Economics to go do her master's. And <laughs> I am very proud of her. My other two are engineers. <laughs> um, find your fan club and your cheering squad. Immigrants stick together because they are a minority. And because of that, they learn to help others that come after them. Um, they arrive with an advantageous blend of individualistic and communitarian traits and a sacrificial devotion to family and tribe, which means we often live in big family units and have a big support system, sometimes an invasive in your business support system. Um, my mother is here today and has always been my biggest fan, but so have my friends and my clients. Your flat fan club does not need to be related to you. They just need to be there for you. Be thrifty. Immigrants do not come here to expand their credit and put their furniture on a 50-month zero-interest plan. They are discount buyers, relentless savers, and expert bar bargainers. Um, they know how to make a penny believe that it is $1.65. I, I say they this time because, unfortunately, I did not learn that lesson very well. But talk to my mother afterwards. She knows. Um, hustle. You know the Nigerian on the street corner that is flirting with you and putting a smile on your face while he tries to sell you a fake purse? 
or the taxi driver with a PhD from Lebanon, or the doctor um, from India, or even the Bosnian lawyer who cleans her office at night. They come here for better lives for their children. They will do anything to make that dream come true. No doesn't mean no, it means not right now. That is why young Canadians with immigrant backgrounds are almost twice as likely to go to university as students whose parents were born in Canada, and immigrants launch more than a quarter of new businesses today. Why? In some cases, discrimination against immigrants forced them to work for themselves. It's called, where there is a will, there is a way. Last but not least, be thankful. You are in the top 1% in this world. You have nothing to complain about. Immigrants are proud citizens of this country. The grass is greener here. Being Canadian is not a birthright. It's an honor and it's a privilege. We are grateful and gratitude changes your perspective on everything. Challenge turns into opportunity. Your glass should always be full, not half full, always be full. Statistics show that immigrants will, on average, earn more than native-borns, study further, marry at higher rates, divorce at lower rates, fall out of the workforce less frequently, and dodge poverty more easily. And yet, in today's world, immigrant is starting to feel like a dirty word. The truth is that we should all wish to think like an immigrant. It'll only make us stronger and more resilient. Thank you.